I am so excited that you're here with me today because we are going to be making puppy chow. Yes, puppy chow. Um, some people do it at Christmas and they call it, I think, reindeer food, I heard. Uh, there's different names for it, but we're calling it puppy chow. And I think it's because it looks like puppy food, but it is so delicious and chocolatey, peanut buttery. So um, it's delicious, you're gonna love it, and I cannot wait um, to get it done so that I can enjoy it and eat it, yum! So let's go right ahead and get started. I'm gonna show you the ingredients so that you know exactly what you need to use. Now remember, if you don't have the ingredients right now, it's okay because this video is gonna stay up on YouTube and you can always go back and rewatch it and you can make it whenever you have the ingredients and you have the time. So let's get right to it. Okay, so here are the ingredients. We have the uh, Chex Mix, the peanut butter, vanilla, powdered sugar, chocolate chips, salt, butter, and my measuring cups. Here we go. Okay, so um, you're gonna need a mixing bowl. You're also going to need a plastic bag. Um, we did uh, the ice cream a few weeks ago and we used a really big Ziploc bag. You can use the same one um, for this activity. Um, so we're gonna use that later on. But what we're gonna do right now is we are going to mix our peanut butter and our chocolate here. Um, so we are going to go ahead and we are going to do the chocolate chips right now. Okay, so first things first, the chocolate chips. Okay, so it's one and a half cups of chocolate chips. Okay, there's my first cup and half a cup. chips the better and actually my bag is almost done I just have a little tiny bit left so I'm just gonna put it in there because yum right so now we're gonna put our peanut butter on here and our peanut butter is three-fourths of a cup so um, I I don't know where my three and three-fourths is so I'm just gonna use a half and one fourth um, I don't know if my math is correct <laughs> but I hope it is Let's see, and once I open this peanut butter, my doggies are gonna go crazy because they absolutely love peanut butter. And sometimes we give them some peanut butter to snack on because they absolutely love peanut butter. And peanut butter is not bad for doggies. Doggies can have peanut butter, so we give them peanut butter sometimes. fourths of a cup so I'm gonna put I'm gonna fill my half a cup here okay half half a cup there Okay, so it says um, to do uh, one fourth of salt, one fourth to one half, it's up to you. Because I put a little bit more of the chocolate chips, I'm just gonna go ahead and do the half. Half a teaspoon, okay? Half a teaspoon of salt. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this in the microwave. Before you put your chocolate in the microwave, don't forget your butter. I forgot to show you that stuff. Um, so it's six tablespoons of butter or three fourths of a stick. If you have a stick of butter, they tell you um, how many tablespoons and when you need to stop. So um, just make sure that you look at the measurements of the stick of butter. I have chocolate in my hands. 
um, just see um, what is the measurement that the stick gives you for the six teaspoons. But if you don't have a stick and you have regular butter, that's fine. Just measure six tablespoons. Let's go. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put one minute And we are going to leave it for one minute. Um, once the minute is up, we're gonna check it. If it's still not melted, we're gonna get, give it 15 more seconds. They wanna keep going in 15 seconds intervals until it's melted. We don't want to do too many minutes because we don't want our chocolate to melt so much that it burns and then we can't use it. So one minute and then if it's not melted, if you mix it and it's just not melted, 15 more seconds and just keep going. There's a add 30 second um, button that you can hit and just stop it at 15 seconds or if you think that it needs the full 30 seconds, that's fine. Just be sure that you don't burn your chocolate. If you have to ask your parents for help on this step, that is completely fine. Okay, so in my case, one minute was enough to um, just So one minute was enough. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna open our box um, of cereal and we are going to put it in a, the biggest mixing bowl that you can find, okay? So let's go get it. Okay, so the recipe calls for 12 ounces um, of cereal, which would be 11 cups. So because my box brought, I think it was 18 ounces, I'm gonna pour 11 cups of cereal on here. Okay, before we forget, we need to put one and a half teaspoons of vanilla on here. I totally forgot to do that. Let's do it. Okay, my chocolate is in and we are just going to mix, mix, mix. I think I'm gonna have to use my hand. If your chocolate is um, gooey, then you don't have to use as much force, but mine is getting hard, so I'm using my hand.
okay we can still put a little bit more the recipe says two and a half um, cups of powdered sugar so since we put most of this in here let's go ahead and do some more just gonna do half of that cup Okay, we are done, and guess what I have in front of me? Puppy chow! <laughs> I cannot wait to try this puppy chow. I hope that you love it, um, but let's just try it together, okay? You guys ready? You can eat it with your hands, by the way. Here we go, one, two, Chocolatey, peanut buttery. I love it. I love it. Now be careful because puppy chow is addicting <laughs> and you might be tempted to eat the whole thing in one sitting. No judgment if you do, but um, it's a snack. So um, if you have little Ziploc bags, you can divide the puppy chow in Ziploc bags and that way you can eat it, um, you know, several times, um, several different times. So I hope you've enjoyed today's activity, making some puppy chow so yummy and delicious. Let me know what you thought of it. Let me know if you had had it before or if this was your first time trying puppy chow. I cannot wait to hear from you guys. Thank you again for watching our videos. Don't forget every Monday, every Saturday, 
we have new videos Mondays at 7 p.m. We're doing our series on the fruit of the spirit and then Saturdays at 1 p.m. We do fun stuff like making puppy chop. So watch out for our videos every single week. Thank you everyone. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, we love um, to see and to get all of your love. So thank you again for being here with us at Sprinkle of Joy. We love you. Kiss. We love you. Kisses. See you next time.